Hello guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to learn iOS development for free and get an internship at Infosys. So let me tell you how the entire journey goes like. So it started back in September 2022, where our college, that is SRM University, had released a Google form where they spoke about that who wants to enter into iOS development or learn the skill of iOS development. So there were approximately around 683 entries, but uh, they filtered according to the projects or experience what each and every individual student had. So they filtered and at last they took 150 of them. So the iOS development course was divided into two halves. That is the phase one and phase two. So the phase one was all about learning iOS development. We have to learn how to design a product in from in form of an app, how to look into the empathy, how to see the business perspective, how to see the user perspective, how to get leads, business, and how to check the user experience of a particular app, how to design an app, and not about the phase phase one was not about developing the app. It was all about designing, UI, and introduction to Swift. So as a result of which we learned a little bit about Swift in phase one. So then we came to phase two. So how the shortlisting was done for phase two, after completion of the phase one, an app pitch took place where some developers from Infosys and HR marketing head from Apple came and there were many other judge. So in front of them, we had to show our app, how it works, means minute, features how our app works and how it would deliver business to the users and what's our user perspective how we are considering novelty about the project and what are the pros of this app cons of this app who are the competitors to your app and which business problem you are solving for the users that was the main perspective and how you deliver how you built a business in form of an app that was what they considered for their pitch. Then after that, from 150 pitches, they shortlisted around 47 students for phase two. I was also one of them. So I am going to tell you the entire experience what happened in phase two. So in phase two, they gave us a MacBook Pro laptop. And if some apps required iPhone for testing, they also provided with iPhones. So we were provided with all these equipments. Then we were trained for about 15 to 30 days on iOS development, Swift development, how Xcode works and how to build small apps, how to build user friendly apps and how everything works slowly, slowly. But from the industry perspective, they took us to Infosys to work on a real time project. So in the real time project was about hospital management system so this was our problem statement that hospital management system we were a team of about five to six and everyone's problem statement was to build a solution to a or a modern solution to hospital management system so we build the app within exactly 18 days front end back end and all the operations for building the app was supported by jira we had sprints we had tickets and every day we had to close around one to two tickets uh, means if you close them earlier there is no problem but you learn by yourself and also learn from your teammates how to develop a product how to develop an app from scratch how to connect the back end with the app and how an app runs from the user perspective Suppose your team has built an app in 18 days and you want to check whether the app works perfectly or not. You can just drag a member from any other team, give the app in form of a phone or just uh, install that app in the phone, give it to the teammate of any other team and then he can just go through the app, check the user experience, check how the app works and take real time feedback of the operation of the app and after taking the feedback you can just improvise on the features or you can just delete some features as all the features which you list 
might be of use might not be of use depending on the user perspective you have to discuss a lot with your teammates as well as with other team members about modern solutions or maintaining a usp for your app so this is how our app was built in 18 days and after our app was completely built after connecting with the back end and hosted completely in iphone 11 we had pitch in the infosys office that how our app is working how the back end connectivity is built are we getting response from the chat box or not we are we had also shown our back end that how the operation works and we had also pushed our entire source code to github and in github we had also made an organization that is hms hospital management system where we had deployed the entire code but that code can run only in xcode as it is only ios supported so this was how we had built our app in 18 days in infosys office in chennai so let me tell you about all the prerequisites that were there in phase one so in phase one you are taught with how to use keynote and how to do ui ux design in keynote means both wireframing as well as prototyping but in phase two you have to make a real-time application either with swift or swift ui if you are going with swift you have to deal with storyboard and make the app and if you are taking swift ui it's pretty well and better option than swift but the journey was amazing we had got to learn a lot of stuff we got to learn about industrial experience and how everything works also when you work in an industry and work on a real time project you have to give stand up meetings and in each and every stand up meeting you need to discuss about what you built how you built and on a particular day how you have worked on a particular sprint on which you have assigned to and also you have to regularly update your sprints or else your work balance won't be tracked on a regular basis and you might not get a bonus or you might not get a hike in your performance so this is how it works so this was about how to get into ios development and how to intern at infosys this was the entire journey in short words so the, well, if you have watched the video till here just press the like button subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos